everybody, I want to wheeze them here. It is Tuesday, December 13th, 2.12 in the morning. Uh, almost 12.12, I guess we missed it. Slight, technically. <laughs> Sun hasn't come up, I still kind of consider it Monday the 12th, so... Here we are, this is something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Not necessarily look at Aurora, that my mouse is moving all around her, but you can't see that. But, uh, I have her on the Portal of Power, and I have us pulled up to her stat screen. As you can see, 10, 10, 20, and 6, uh, luck... Speed, agility, defense, armor, power, etc. Uh, top, bottom to top, I should say. Health is 240. Now, apparently the Skylanders website is down. Not necessarily down, but not like 100% up and running. <laughs> like the images won't load for the characters. And more importantly, the uh, statistics don't show up. And I say that because, of course, on the website they have the statistics out of 350. And when we unboxed Aurora, I told you I was excited to get her in-game for a simple fact. When you go to the website and it's functioning, which this is the first time I've really ever seen it do this, um, Solar Flare Aurora had better stats than Standard Aurora. The only other time we've seen that is with Legendaries, and when we threw Legendary Tri-Tip on and compared him to Standard Tri-Tip's in-game stats... It reflected what we saw on the website. Again, there's not like a direct correlation. But basically, you know, you've got your darks. You go across the board. Same power, same armor, same speed, etc. Whereas Legendary Tri-Tip has some boosts, I think, to power and armor, if I remember correctly. Solar Flare Aurora on the website, which I pulled it up so I could tell you exactly what it was and then we could see what it is in-game. <laughs> so, obviously that plan has been foiled, so I suppose Chaos and his minions must be working their magic. But uh, 10, 10, 20, and 6 is what you need to remember along with 240, which is her health. Now, important to note there's a chest here, and that is a chest from Solar Flare Aurora. And if you're like, wait... This is the introduction. How dare you deprive us? How dare you place Solar Flare Aurora down before uh, this introduction video? That's the whole point of the introductions. Why have you done that to us? Well, simple fact of the matter is, when I did my stream Saturday night, we wound up going through two levels. It was like three and a half hours. It was awesome. We went through Fizzland, and we went through the Golden Arcade. If I'm recalling it correctly, I believe that the Swashbuckler Shrine is in fact in Fizzland. Don't hold me to that, it's one of those two chapters. And I was faced with a scenario where if I don't put Solar Flare on the Portal of Power just to do this introduction, we have to go all the way back through after doing the introduction just to do the shrine. If you go to Twitch TV slash one of wisdom or you watch my uh, uploads to YouTube from those chapters, all we did with Solar Flare, literally, is put her on the portal, see her little animated intro, come in to the shrine, watch that, which it wasn't colored if you're concerned about that, so we're not missing anything too special. It looks like, just like Aurora, basically. And I withheld it. I didn't do it. I wouldn't let myself look at her statistics because I wanted it to be special. And that's what we're going to do right now. It's just kind of screwed up because I was going to compare and contrast the in-game stats with the you know online slash card stats, which I know we don't have cards anymore, but uh, that's, that's what that would have lined up with. So, Solar Flare Aurora. If you haven't seen my unboxing of her, I'll either have it pop up somewhere in here or at the end of the video. You can also search for it. She looks amazing. She's also the only Wave 3 Skylander I've been able to pick up. So nothing was sent to me. Uh, I've been out and about. I've tried. Uh, Jingle Bell Chompy Mage has been available for quite some time. And I cannot get the guy. So uh, I nearly caved and bought things from Toys R Us online just to get them here. Uh, but nonetheless, I did find Solar Flare Aurora, so that's why we have her unboxed, and that's why we're finally introducing her. One of the coolest alt decos I have seen. Personally, one of my favorite color schemes is orange and black. Uh, that may have something to do with it. But just like the fades, the attention to detail, it it just works really, really well. I'm looking at her right now, I mean, just like the back end of her tunic, I suppose that's what we could call it, uh, sort of like the flamed fade between the, uh, you know, like protective wrap and her pants, and then, of course, the detail on the back uh, of her, like, shield, you know, I don't really know fashion, but 
the thing that looks like it would be armor on the front side is Eon's head, you know, on the back side. On the standard figure, it's just like the back side, but here, they detailed it out with orange, and it looks so freaking cool. So, what we're going to do is throw her down, not for the very first time, but for the second time, and we will be looking at the all-important stats, and I seriously hope that the website didn't mislead me when we first got her, and they are, in fact, superior stats. So, keep your fingers crossed, here we go. She looks so awesome. Special and Solar Flare, both denoted there. Okay, health is the same. We know that. Let me get off of my knees. That's never comfortable for a prolonged period of time. Back into the creaky chair. <laughs> and, uh, spreadsheet, spreadsheet, spreadsheet. Yeah, the shrine is in Fizzland. I've got it in my spreadsheet. Look at us. Go, go, go. All right, now the issue here, and this is important, if her statistics are in fact superior, as you know, if if her attack is anything higher than 10 attacker power, say it's 15, 20, that's going to change every single aspect of her attack damage numbers. So keep that in mind. But so, uh, let's see here. Her health is going to be. Will that just not take the number 240 in this spreadsheet? One of these days, if I ever get the free time... Oh, good lord, Excel. I am going to write software, and it's going to be a spreadsheet, and it is going to be amazing. It's going to be so, so practical from people that use these all the time with simple fixes and adjustments. And it will forever revolutionize the way you spreadsheet, if in fact you do spreadsheet. Uh, apparently we've just created our own verbiage here. <laughs> so, this is the moment of truth. You know what? Let's open this first, right? Let's, let's do this. And at least, I, and it's not technically from Aurora, it's from Solar Flare, but, you know, wink, wink, nod, nod. So, uh, here we go. This is the gift we get with Solar Flare Aurora. Ultimates. Headgear. Queen's Gym, plus 60 luck. And if you note, we've got down below there the fine print duplicate boosted stats. So, that's what we like to see. Uh, that said, here we go. This is it. Again, what we're looking to see is 10, 10, 20, and 6 increased. So, if we don't have it, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to kind of be sad. Master Eon has trained me well. <sighs> Forsaken me. <laughs> so, man. Okay, well, we don't have an increase in stats here, which. Mm, I swear the website, and like I said, it's current. It's not down. You actually can't get to the characters by the drop-down menu. You click the drop-down menu. Oh lord, I just clicked it. And then everything's like grayed out, and you can click Imaginators, but nothing happens. And luckily, someone here named one of Wisdom knows the uh, direct uh, HTTP markup. So uh, it's slash character slash solar hyphen flare hyphen aurora if you need to go here. But the numbers are down. It's just everything's 350, and there's no, you know, demarked line where we can determine, you know, oh, 210, 200, 150, 180. It's not there. So that's kind of a lost cause, sadly. <laughs> so, uh, on the bright side, and I will tell you this, that, okay, see that thing on her back, like up there between the shoulders? That's that thing I was trying to find a word to describe. And I don't really know what it would be called technically, but I know it looks cool. And I will tell you this, if you didn't see the unboxing, number one, you need to watch it because she looks infinitely better in hand than she does in this shot. This is a situation where the orange isn't as bold, it's sort of more of like a vitamin C than a hemi. And then instead of wearing like black, uh, she's kind of like, here it's almost like a khaki gray color. Uh, it doesn't look bad, but in hand she looks amazing. Uh, cannot s Standard Aurora, one of the best figures I've ever seen in my life. This retake on it, uh, also extremely well done. Uh, the gym, the Queen's Gym, I guess we could call it. 
Might have been cool if that was orange. Perhaps even an amber color would have worked if they needed it to be a little bit brighter. Um, the standard color, which I do love, especially on Aurora herself, but in this alt deco form, I feel like it clashes a little bit. But I think it's just the background here, sort of like the water in the sky, if you will. Or sky, it could be all sky. Who knows? <laughs> Whatever the background is, sort of washes out the black. I am so bummed that the stats didn't go up. And actually, you know what? The website is to the point. I can't click uh, her bio <laughs> either. I can read part of it, but the, like, the read more thing is not there. Uh, don't have that saved anywhere. If you need to hear her biography, I've done it for Aurora's Introduction, Aurora's Unboxing, and Solar Flare Aurora's Unboxing. Let's wing it. Uh, cliff Note version. Aurora. Family member of Eon by way of being her niece. His niece. Uh, let's see here. She wanted to be a Skylander. He wouldn't let her. She kind of defied him and pretended to be Boss Blades McSlashinator. Uh, people were like, wow, this Boss Blades McSlashinator is freaking amazing. Uh, Eon then found out it was her. Uh, he told her, hey, you can't do this. Um, and then it was kind of like, oh, sad moment for everyone. And then Eon's like, because I'm making you a sensei. And everyone was like, yay. And then Eon was even like, you know, a boss blaze and exlationator was kind of cool. Solar Flare. And that's the bio right there. So I'm not making this up. If you were at least in the U.S. on Skylanders.com, uh, the website has a few issues right now. So my apologies there. Uh, but I always wish they would do slightly different bios, and again, when we did the unboxing, it was just the standard one. All it would really take is an extra sentence at the beginning, at the end, or somewhere in the middle that explains why the character's dark, legendary, or in this case, a solar flare. Uh, doesn't even have to be practical, just a little something-something. would go a long way for folks like yourself and me. So, here we are, though. Let's take a gander at her upgrades. We begin with the Double Sword Strike XXX to perform the Sword Strike combo. Double Sword Strike, I should say. Flare Dash. Press B to dash and flip through your enemies. Think again along the lines of Stealth Elf. Coming in here, this looks weird in the thumbnail. And I still wish the thumbnails were also recolored to match the alt deco. Just little things I have to point out, you know. Uh, otherwise, I would not be doing justice to what we are attempting to accomplish here, but this actually turns out to be pretty dadgum cool. Light Burst, it's our first base upgrade. You need 3300 to pick up all four. Press Y to drop a light sword that slows enemies and explodes. That's 500. 700 gets you the speed of light. Flash Dash is faster, cha-ching, and does more damage, cha-ching. Brighter Light, uh, this one's got a pre wreck but it will be 900, not noted, but I know because Hey, I have this stuff in my head. <laughs> and, uh, light burst swords knock enemies up and deal more damage. After that, we've got extended reach, double sword strike hits further and does more damage for 1,200. Now, the beautiful thing about Solar Flare, if you've already got standard Aurora and you didn't rush out and pick up a second standard Aurora because she is that amazing, Alt Decos, what's the biggest perk? Even if you don't like the aesthetics of them, some of you may hate Solar Flare. I personally think she's amazing. Dun dun dun. You can take both paths and have them active at the drop of a hat. In Imaginators, there is no Skylander Tutor ability that we can unlock. There is no path switching like with a Series 2 and up character. You either have the top path or you have the bottom path, and that's what you gotta do. If you want the bottom path and you have the top path, you gotta fully reset your character. Soul Gem will still be purchasable. You won't have to go back and find that. Sky Chi, however, you will have to go back to each and every shrine every single time you reset. Which I get it, but at the same time, it's kind of like, hmm, maybe we should, you know, make that a one-time deal. It works out well like it is, but it's a deal when you're like me and you're resetting one character for path two and then possibly resetting it again to take it back to the first path, which you turn out to like better. It gets a bit tedious, I'm not going to lie. Uh, takes a lot of time to go through the levels, but uh, anyway, Akimbo Master is the top path. 
Sword Techniques, you get two combos, XXB, XXY, Flash Dive, and X-Ray Shot combo. If I remember correctly, you're looking at 6,900 for these. I think it's 17, 22, and 3,000, respectively. You got Rapid Strike Mode, press X rapidly to enter Rapid Strike Mode. And then we've got Dervish, hitting enemies with Double Sword Strike combos speeds up your Double Sword Strike attacks. Sounds complicated. Sounds not crystal clear, but again, we've done our upgrades. It plays together beautifully. Down here, fastest Skylander alive. Gauntlet Throne Stealth Elf and Zap. Here we go. Forever Runner. Hold B to cont... Okay, this is the awkward time where I guess my analog stick spazzes out. Uh, very reminiscent of my PS2 days. Played a lot of Need for Speed and Madden. Um... <laughs> True story here, and I think, realistically, it was probably my racing games that did it, but I burned through so many controllers for the PS2, and when I would go and I'd play Madden, which I played religiously, I was Madden 03, uh, I've still got my notes in there, <laughs> but uh, I would log out the player stats to determine I had that thing figured out, man. Anyway, uh, it would be so strange because I'd be like sitting there, you know, and I'd be, you know, pre-snap kind of scouting the defense, and then I'm sitting there and like my primary receiver is just going left down the line of scrimmage, you know, not downfield, but literally like, hey, I'm going to run over here to the sidelines and get a hot dog left, and it's because the analog stick would get just totally slaughtered as I'm like carving corners and stuff. Uh, Midnight Club as well, spent a lot of time on that, really, really liked it. <laughs> but, uh, I've debated going back and playing those, to be honest, and like uploading them type of a thing, just sort of like the nostalgia. Need for Speed Underground, Midnight Club, Midnight Club 2, uh, lots of good times there. And I thought it was so cool, I remember when I first got Midnight Club, uh, it was for my birthday, not quite sure what year, but uh, I made a point to like stay up until like midnight, because at that point in time, I wasn't the nocturnal animal I am now, and I was like, it's midnight club, I've got to do it. <laughs> Here we go again, I swear, my hand is not, okay, this is, this is weird, so, uh, maybe, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Uh, it must be the Russians, they all say. The Skylanders website's down and my Xbox is doing strange things. <laughs> uh, forever, don't make me plug in the Wii U. Uh, forever Runner. Hold B to continuously flash dash and flash dash deals more damage. Double cha-ching. Right here we've got Momentum. Flash dash now gives a 3 second damage boost to your double sword strike attacks. Then we've got Explosive Finish. You now drop light burst, light burst explosive swords during flash dash, and your light burst sword deals more damage. Sky Chi, which we finally have unlocked, because again, we didn't get to access that shrine until Fizzland, which is why we have incomplete research and numbers on her up until this point in time. Eon's Power. Press and hold X to unlock the true power of Eon, granting increased damage and armor. I've not seen this thing in action with numbers, so that'll be cool. And we are going to do that, so uh, after that, or I'm sorry, that's the Soul Gym. <laughs> then we have got, uh, and I've not seen that either because I hadn't done the uh, Light Realm at that point in time. So like I said early on, since we hadn't accessed all the areas, the plan, and I stated it many times, come in, do what we can do with the upgrade pass, and then Soul Gym and Sky Chi will just be like a special add-on short video for each character it's applicable to. So that's what we will do with her. But Sky Chi is Flicker Flash, the ultimate since they attack. Hold right trigger to perform your Sky Chi power. Use left stick unless it uses itself for you to steer. And so it's pretty much the same thing with every Sky Chi. You know, there's like never been any specific elaborate instructions. It's like press the button and move. <laughs> basically is what that says in layman's terms. So, uh, pay attention though. Use left stick to steer in enemies. It looks like we're going to be like a cosmic white hot flash or something. So, uh, let's drop out of here. Can't talk to you. Got things to do. Alright, so down, down, down we go. Uh, this might trigger a different cutscene than usual. Let's just go ahead and... Oh! No! 
Hello! <laughs> we didn't have Flynn talk to us. So, here we are. What we want to do is log her base numbers. Devil Sword Strike. That's one. There was two and three, because it's hard to do two without three. And then if I have one, two, three, four, just over and over again. Whoops, didn't mean to hit the dummy, but <laughs> you get the idea. So 22 to 33. Uh, third hit will be 33 to 50. So 1 and 2, 22 to 33. 22 to 33. And then when I do 1, 2, 3, the final hit, the third hit, 33 to 50. Jump attack. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm a big fan of when there's a standalone jump attack. Check it out. She gets that sweet, like, uh, trap team ground pound I love so much. And as you can see there, that is the standard attack damage number, meaning the crit on that is a solid and salty 75. Now, moving on to the flash dash, what does it look like, you say? It looks like that. Not a whole lot to it, but note, she sort of got like a slide, a somersault, and then the cartwheel. <laughs> and it's basically, you know, whatever you want to make of it. But in terms of numbers, 17 to 26 every single time. At least at this point in time. So, Sky Chi we cannot do here. So we need to go back over this way. Luckily she's fast. She's even faster if we do this. I've been wanting to throw down Stealth Elf. I don't know if they would have, like, tweaked it in this game where Aurora's slightly quicker. Skylander. I have a very hard time believing... Uh, that they would make a character explicitly quicker than Stealth Elf. When you equip Stealth Elf with a Boreal Acrobatics, I mean, that... Mm, it's hard to beat. Uh, and keep in mind, the map does have increased speed for everyone. And so, since this kind of has the delays between them, I feel like Stealth Elf would still get the edge. Uh, and I do feel Stealth Elf is quicker on the sly as well. Anyway, let's go ahead. We'll do this proper. We'll kill him with primary. Entirely primary. And now we will do a few flash dashes with this guy. And I mean, you can see it knocks the enemy up. It's pretty cool. You can basically have them never touch the ground unless they do that. <laughs> so there's the jump slam included for you just so we can kill this guy quicker. Note the radius on it. Pretty decent. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment of the video you were hopefully waiting for. We're going to see what the Sky Chi looks like, and we're going to try to get numbers. Not a big deal if we don't. We obviously need to get her some cash, take her down a path, whatnot. But here we go. Let's brighten things up in here! 61. Oh no, the worst thing that could possibly happen just happened. And I couldn't move her at all, by the way, when that went down. So I didn't even get to see a final number. That was sort of a dud, and obviously we'd have to recharge it. And I don't want to take the time to do that, because it's 2.35. I've got places to be in just a few hours. I'm not going to get much sleep. And that's about that. So, uh, this is Solar Flare Aurora. I would be extremely excited if I wasn't disappointed that she didn't have padded stats. I thought at least... You know, I never know how the game designers will look at it like, oh, Solar Flare, you know, it's going to be super powerful. Or, wow, Solar Flare, hardened armor, you know, we're going to bump that. Or, Solar Flare, the way I would look at it personally would be speed. But, you know, I could see power or, arm, you know, whichever. I wouldn't think they'd pad all three, but I figured, like, two of the four and at least one would have been padded. <laughs> and... They are not, and I'm sad about that, but uh, nonetheless, she's still a fantastic character. We will now be able to have both paths active, which is going to be super cool. I uh, can't wait to uh, have that ability just at the drop of a hat. If somehow we you know, have an aurora that we have to pull from the portal of power, we can throw down solar flare, use the other <laughs> path. I think they'll work quite well in tandem together, needless to say. But uh, again, this is Miss Solar Flare Aurora. I also won't be able to get pictures like I wanted, so I might have to go play around and get some uh, get some screenshots or something for this video. Uh, that said, I'm going to go so I can get this thing rendered out. We will go with hashtag... Hashtag Solar Flare. How about that? 
don't TP me, hashtag solar flare, is what we'll roll with, and uh, hopefully that works for you. And I will leave it at that. So, as always, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on uh, Solar Flare Aurora. Do you prefer her or Standard Aurora? I've got polls up on the Skylander Club forum. Be sure to check those out. Cast your vote. Anyone can vote. You can uh, vote multiple times if you're on different devices. Uh, feel free to spread the word on the polls. Try to get your favorite character or whoever you want to see win, win. And uh, main thing, just have fun with it. That's what we try to do. Uh, similarly, if you really want to help me out, tell friends about the channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to do that. But of course, uh, I am a little guy. I am not partnered. Pretty much everyone else that does Skylanders is partnered uh, or gets stuff sent out way in advance before I do. And that leaves me basically between two boulders. <laughs> and then toss in that I actually have a real job and don't just sit around and do this all day. And uh, I'm basically here because I enjoy it. That's why I'm doing this at 2.40 in the morning. But uh, it's one of those deals. Everyone makes the YouTube as broken videos. Uh, I just think viewers are broken. I think a lot of people just keep watching junk. Uh, you know, I know how to title a video to be clickbait. I know how to put a thumbnail with one to be clickbait. Not my style. Uh, whenever I see that stuff, and if I'm ever misled, uh, I take it personal. <laughs> and, uh, I don't enjoy it. It's a waste of my time. And that's what most people do on YouTube, and I don't. And, uh, my reward is absolutely nothing, aside from your viewership. So I consider my viewers to be smarter than the average bears. Uh, and cool like Yogi. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much for your support over the years. Again, uh, I truly believe I'm pretty much the only person, yeah, outside of probably like little kids that are just, you know, uh, which of course now consoles can do this stuff, so everybody's in the game, you know, but uh, in terms of like, wow, you know, this is a lot of Skylander content, I'm the only one that's not partnered. <laughs> And uh, I have no intention of taking a partnership. You can all screw off. Quit emailing me. Uh, I'm going to do it my way, and if that means that my channel gets cross-promoted over and never grows because no one ever finds my videos, so be it. I'm going to do it my way and fight the system. That's what I've always done. That's what I will continue to do. Not many of you probably care about that, so I will quit rambling. <laughs> but, uh, I really do, and I'm hoping to see Solar Flare in chapter, maybe like a darker chapter and see if she keeps this brighter coloration but uh, in person she's a much darker uh, and more vivid orange as well just in person it's one of those weird things it's usually the other way around like the legendaries you're like oh you know, that blue and gold it's so dark you know in hand and then you put it in the game you're like oh that looks better she looks pretty good here, but she looks amazing in hand, I will say that. And, of course, their standard Aurora, which, as I've said many, many times, probably one of the best Skylanders I have ever unboxed or seen in-game. And I stand firmly beside that. So, I'll quit rambling. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're asleep, getting something done, whatever it may be. Uh, that said, my apologies on the stats and the bio. The website truly does have some issues right now. I'm not just saying that. Otherwise, we could have gotten through this a bit quicker. <laughs> so, uh, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you back here for more videos. Fear not, we will showcase her full upgrade since she is an all deco. Uh, so you'll have that to look forward to. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. SkylarnClub.com, whatawism.com. I will see you back here for more from the Academy.